What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak to you about a particularly funny story related to when someone found out that I actually speak Esperanto. Now, as an Esperanto, if you've been speaking it for a while, you'll hear some crazy stuff from random people about Esperanto who suddenly have like this whole world view of the language that they'd previously, like five minutes ago, never even heard of. But anyway, before I jump into that story, I just want to say something. Now, you guys send me a lot of comments, and I absolutely love comments, I love replying to them. But for some reason, some of you guys seem to have your profiles like put on private or something like that because I literally can't respond. There's no reply button, so I just have to like like your comment, just hope for the best. So if you've left a comment for me and I haven't replied within like a day or so, just double check that you haven't got it on private or anything like that because that could be the actual reason why I haven't replied. Or maybe I'm just ignoring you and I'm just being a- But anyway, into today's story. So a while back when I started at my current workplace um, there was another guy who started at the same time there and one day he heard me on the phone chatting away with a mate in Esperanto and I hung up and he goes I thought you were an Aussie like and I go oh, yeah I am and he goes well, well what language are you speaking was that Spanish and I go no I was speaking Esperanto and he's like oh I haven't heard of that language before and then I started to explain the whole history of Esperanto and little did I know that this guy was like a massive, like massive conspiracy buff. Like I'd learned this literally over the next few weeks. So he went on the Wikipedia, he looked up Esperanto and I don't know where he got this from, but somewhere like something gave him this whole idea that Esperanto was linked with the Illuminati. He started thinking, like, I don't know if it's fully serious or not, but he would say, you know, that sounds like the Illuminati language, you know, trying to create a language for the entire world. That sounds like some type of Illuminati stuff. Like, are you part of the, like, Freemasons or anything like that? And I'm like, um, no, why? And, like, he started, like, showing me all these random articles about, you know, the Illuminati and stuff like that, while continually questioning whether I'm part of the Illuminati. I'm like, dude, from what I've heard, the Illuminati is, like, some organization that died like hundreds of years ago and has only just recently come back into fashion with um you know those movies that came out god i can't even remember the names of them the da vinci code that's the movie but yeah like he fully kept like he fully believes the illuminati exists and like every few weeks he'd show me pictures and he goes check this out check this out and i'm like what is it and he goes look at it man it's a building shaped like a like a pentagon you know that's the illuminati man that's the illuminati they leave the illuminati plus the freemasons they leave their little symbols everywhere and you're showing me like these maps of um the pentagon like the actual place in the u.s and how it's all designed to you know follow like a certain star pattern or something and i'm like dude esperanto has got nothing to do with the illuminati hell they may have a presence within it like if they exist but there is no like it, we are not part of the Illuminati, but he would not like believe it. Every time he introduced me to someone, like I'd be talking, he'd be like, oh, by the way, he's part of the Illuminati. And I'm like, dude, I'm not part of the Illuminati. Can you stop saying that? One day some dude's gonna take that wrong and probably stab me or something. But yeah, that was the most random reaction I've ever had to someone like when they found out that I spoke Esperanto. They just thought I was part of the Illuminati. And even to this day, cause I don't actually, I only just recently finished up working at this place, but he still sends me Facebook posts every now and then with links to articles about the Illuminati. He goes, man, they're real, they're real. And you better not tell me you're part of the Illuminati. But if you are, and you guys are planning to take over the whole world, remember, I was your friend. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> stop. Yeah, I don't know if you're just joking anymore because you've been doing this for like six months or if you're actually serious. Like, I am not the Illuminati. But anyway, that was the random story. Um, and the other thing is, I mentioned a while back that I was gonna set up a Skype, like, like I was gonna set up like a Skype session between me and you guys. But um, I've been playing around with Skype and I figured I'm gonna actually set up a Skype group where we can all just jump in whenever we feel like and just have a random conversation, like a little chat, you know, chit chat, you know, type of stuff. Some, you know, in Esperanto, English, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna set that group up. If I do this correctly, because I haven't actually done it yet, I'm like preempting my own abilities here. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description and you guys can like hook up with me or hook up with the group. I don't know how it works. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. So I'll leave some type of link down in the description and then we can just all hook up. We can start speaking away because I know a few of you guys have started actually learning Esperanto through Duolingo. So that would be a pretty cool way for you to practice what you've actually learned um, because I know there's also a fair few really experienced Esperanto who follow my channel. That's pretty much it. If you've liked this video, 
give it a like, share it around with anyone who might be interested in that Skype group or who, who might have their own crazy story about, you know, being part of the Illuminati. Are any of you guys actually part of the Illuminati? Because I want to know now. But anyway, yeah. So share it around, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, my Illuminati goons might find you and break your legs. <laughs>